In this video, we're going to look at creating a nested query in Google Sheets. A nested query is a query within a query. And the example I have here is a perfect situation where you might need to use a nested query. We have different purchase dates for different inventory IDs and you can see there are multiples of the same inventory ID and we have quantity on hand. And in this example, we want to create a query that first sums and groups by the product ID and gets us a total by product ID. So total quantity on hand because we want to return only records where each product total is less than 10,000 because in this scenario, anything less than 10,000 on hand is a prompt to restock the inventory because it's gone below a certain threshold. So we need a nested query because we first need to create a query that groups and totals by product ID and then an outer query that looks at the first query to only return records less than 10,000 in total. So we're going to begin our inner query first. That would be just like any other query. So we have the data set we want to query off of, which is our range. And then we have our select statement. Now here, I only want to select the field that I want to total by. So that's going to be column B. And then we're going to sum on column C. Now, when you use an aggregate function, you have to use group by for any field that is not being aggregated. So we have to group by column B because that's what we want to total by. So our final input is the number of headers we have in our data set, which is one. So when I do this, it returns totals by each of these product IDs. Now, I only want to return the ones that are less than 10,000 in total, though. So that's where this outer query comes in. So in front of it, we're going to add our outer query. For the first input of this outer query, it is just the inner query that we already created. So that is already complete. And then we move on to the select statement for this outer query. So since our first argument is the query that we previously created, we can no longer refer to it as column letters. We have to refer to the column numbers because this is the results of the inner query so it's no longer a range reference so our first column is actually column B because our inner query did not select column A so column B is column 1 column C is column 2 so we want to pull back both column 1 and column 2 and for our where condition we want anything in column 2 that is less than 10,000 So you can see that returns only the products that are under 10,000 in total. We can also do other things like format this if we want. We could change the header value. So if I want to give this header a different label, after our where condition, we can add the keyword label reference column 2. And we'll just call this total. After that, we can use the format keyword to format column two. And in single quotes, we can just add a number format with a thousand separator. And there it is. Well, that is all for now. Till next time.